Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Jetins here, and today I'll be showing you how to use the plugin Call Admin and how to set it up, sort of. So I'm hoping you guys know how to port forward and stuff and how to install plugins. So to start off, I'm just gonna tell you what it offers. It offers like stuff like allows allows for players to in game to call it for assistant while the admin is not in game. So they can do use a command and they can get assistance and there'll be a little bubble showing up over here. Like it says blue notifications. And there are other stuff that you can do like with this GUI practically I should say. So I'm gonna go over how to use all of it. So start off just download blah 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 and just drag it in your folder. And now uh, you guys need the admin GUI. You don't have to put this in here. I'm just gonna actually cut that out, put it right here just for my use. So it's on the server. Blah blah blah. Lyle access. And call admin should be enabled right here. Enabling call admin, blah blah blah. So you can hit stop right there. And click to continue. So when you open up, you see a call admin folder, and you can just right click that. My computer wants to load this up and edit with Notepad. So, what you see here is the credentials, the username, password, blah blah blah, remote command, etc. So, I'm just gonna show you all the other stuff, how to like practically set it up. So, one, you have to have this port forwarded. Um, if you have that port forward using it, then like you know, make it change into a different port. So change this port to like two five whatever or whatever you want. So I'm just gonna set this all to admin s password two. So there we go. I don't think I needed that. So let's set that up right there and rerun the server. So it should be up now. Just open up. Call admin GUI. I'm just gonna make this local host because I have not forwarded, but you can if you want to. Hit connect and an admin is now monitoring the thingy mabob. So it says connected. So you can send it to server like hi. It says call admin blah blah blah. It's practically a message. Or if you want to send a command slash say hi. Say hi. Sorry, you can't have the dash. So it will come as blah blah blah. So the notification I was talking about is I'll show you in a second. There we go. You'll get little notifications. So from this thingy. So say I now go to Minecraft. See it says call admin is still running, blah blah blah. I minimize it of course. Run it. I'm just gonna log into my local host really quick and and I am in. So if I want to call an admin, just run the command call slash call and call admin. Good lordy, I fail at typing all that. Um, to say hi or something. Look, Jetins called admin with the message hi. So if you do want to open it, just double click it, it should open up. Call admin with hi, blah blah blah. And if you want to say something like Hello Jetins and it should come up a message over here. Or if you do want to send a private message to Jetins, then just say Hello and PM from admin via call admin. So that's how to use it. There are other commands which I am gonna go over right now. So, call admin, we just went over, shows all that. Um, help shows like all the commands and other stuff. Call admin reload, reloads. Um, you can modify the settings like new values, like, you know, certain things. Um, the values, of course. And if you do want to add other credentials to the config, you have to run this command. So, say you have like more than one admins and you want all to connect. Just run this command right here. Add 
Jetsons and Waffle Man. Oh, I don't have permissions. I should add permissions. Uh, so you just run that, and that will let you have you add more credentials. So, or if you want to call a certain person, run slash call admin. Call the admin with no additional info. So, only this guy that logged in with this username can get this message. And there are call admin lists, like see who's currently online, and all the stored files in the config. The permissions is this. All that. So if you want players to like be able to call um, the server owner or whoever has control over the permission should add this and etc. Probably should add this too. And configuration which I should have showed that page. So credential is something like this. So this true says that this person is able to connect so they should be able to connect if you put defaults they won't be able to connect and all that stuff don't worry about it it's all the config don't really worry so it's all good and that's about it guys um really easy to use and if you're interested in whatever it says right here send me a pm so it's a really cool plugin it's really good for owners and it's really fun so enjoy this plugin because it supports a lot of things and I think upcoming features are coming like sound customizable messages so take a look into that tune in so see you guys next time